and the release. The sun will never, ever, ever be the culprit of skin cancer. That's just not possible. The sun is a is is the beneficiary and is the cause of all life on this planet. And there's no possible way that the sun is the reason for any skin mm. problems. Here's the reason for skin problems and people blame it on the sun. Toxins in lotions. Mm. Toxic bodies that are in the sun for long periods of time. So then what happens is the toxins start to release out the pores of the skin mm. and it creates irritations yeah. on the skin. And then the third thing that causes skin cancers or any kind of skin problem is overexposure to the sun's rays mm. if you're not ready. It's a lot like sun gazing, right? We talked about that. You start with a little bit at a time and you work your way up. Sun, sun bathing is the same thing. If you go out, like if you're, let's say you're working and you're, you're in a cubicle for four, five, six, seven days, and now all of a sudden you jump, you go out on a Saturday with a 12 pack of beer and go to the beach and burn, not only you're getting those toxins in, which is trying to release out the skin, but now you're burning. And let's say you're slopping on lotion too, which has got you know, a billion chemicals. So that radiation of the sun is hitting the chemical lotion. It's also hitting the toxins that are trying to, that the sun is trying to bring out of your skin, you know, on top of the fact that you're overexposing and you're burning. That, over time, is skin cancer. Mm. The sun is not the culprit. Mm. It's, sim it's not. The sun is trying to do everything it can to try to make you well. Mm -hmm. You just have to be smart. Yeah, That's it's all. like aboriginals are in the sun all the time exactly. and they don't get skin cancer exactly yeah exactly and, and for me now it's weird i've been sun gazing now for six years i don't even burn anymore mm. and we're nine degrees above the equator and yeah I, I don't, i've been but burning doing all the staring at the sun that i do i know it's weird it, I, I don't i can be exposed to really strong amounts of sun and i don't burn mm. um that's just i don't know i mean that's something i think that's a benefit of sun gazing mm -hmm. as well yeah um and also sun sun I, I truly feel sunbathing, not a lot of people can do this, but let's say you started with 20 minutes front, 20 minutes back, and then added a minute or two over time, kind of like sun gazing, you know, you'd add more time staring mm -hmm. at the sun mm -hmm. first thing in the morning or at sunset, and your skin gets stronger, right? Yeah. It gets darker. For sure, it gets used to it. And darker and mm. darker. So if you were smart and you used the law of adaption and just darkened your skin slowly, mm. you'd be able to take uh, the strongest sun on any part of this planet You'd be fine all day with long it. and you'd be fine yeah but people overdo things mm -hmm. you know they're inside all week with their job and then yeah. all of a sudden they want to jump out to the sun and they get blisters and exactly major burns yeah that coupled with lotions yeah you know coupled with toxic bodies because believe me believe me the sun tries to pull it out your skin yeah you yeah, can smell it, it of course i mean how mm. many of us have you know drank the night before and then we go to the beach mm. and you can <laughs> smell the alcohol coming out of your pores Ooh. yep you know that's the sun trying to do its job. Mm -hmm. But you keep putting the toxins back in, so it's going to irritate your skin. Mm -hmm. Over time, you, you turn 40 years old, you turn 50 years old, you turn 60 years old, it starts to create lesions on the body in the form of skin cancer. Yeah. You clean your body out. I've seen this happen. People clean their body out. Skin cancers just kind of just scab off and go away. Wow. Your body just regenerates new skin. Yep. Seen that happen numerous times. Mm. Next thing, exercise. Mm-hmm. Regular exercise. So here at the Pharma Life, it's very important. I'm, I'm a big pusher of barefoot walking. We just talked about that. Um, um, we have a guest here now, Kitas, is doing a water fast. Um, one of the first things that I that I told her, I was like, you know, I don't want you wearing shoes this month at all. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people look at you like you're nuts. <laughs> but but then I give them the book Earthing, and then I also tell them that again, we're nothing but electromagnetic units. And if you wear rubber-soled shoes, that acts as an insulator you're losing the electromagnetic frequencies from the earth. Yeah. So get the shoes off, walk around the farm barefoot. It's not difficult to walk around this farm barefoot. Mm -mm. It's, it's a little bit rocky, but you can- you Can sense where they the are. Feet, yeah. yeah, the feet get strong very quickly and you can walk around this farm very easily barefoot. Mm -hmm. And the benefits are, are just enormous that we just talked about. And really that's, that's a form of exercising that I push here. Mm -hmm. Over here we have the cellar sizer and and people will they just do with this is like the health bounce there's two re, um, rebounders that i recommend here 
and that's the Nedak soft bounce or the or the seller sizer because they're they're so springy. Yeah. Because if you get a shitty rebounder at the bottom of the bounce, if it's flat, can cause can cause a whole lot more harm than good. Yeah. So if you get something that's nice and springy, and you just start with a little health bounce like this, your your feet aren't coming off the mat at all. What this is doing is it's pumping the circulatory system mm -hmm. and the lymph system. And it's allowing the lymph system to drain the clavicles right here. Yep. And so it dumps back into your circulatory system and then you can excrete any toxins that are in the lymph system out. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way for exercising. And I usually recommend people do this for five minutes every hour. Or you can do the exercise balance, which means getting your feet off the ground. Yay. When you get mm -hmm. your feet off the ground, you're at one or two G's, which means every single time at the bottom of the bounce, you're resisting gravity. Mm. And you resist a lot of gravity, not only, like when you're, let's say you're lifting weights, right? You're working your biceps. Well, it's a very isolative workout, right? So you're working your biceps. That's one set of cells, because really all we are is four trillion cells. Mm. Each of them have a different name. Biceps, triceps, eyes, you know, cartilage, ligaments, but they're all cells. So this goes right, jumping on a rebounder goes straight to the cells. So it strengthens everything. Ligaments, tendons, muscles, you name it. Organs, it's amazing. And also it gives you a nice colon because you're, mm. you're going bump, 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 bump. So, yeah. so a lot of times people will be jumping on a rebounder after 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, they'll have to poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it, it, shakes stimulates, everything out. it stimulates mm. the colon. So this is actually a nice little colonic too. Mm -hmm. Because it really gets things going. stimulated, yeah. it gets things going, yeah. And for women, it's one of the best things for cellulite as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. Yeah. When I lived in Atlanta, and I was really, really busy teaching tennis and teaching school, in the morning I used to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, and I used to jump on one of those for an hour. Wow. And, and it's weird, it develops a different kind of body, it's very lean. Yeah. But, um... I mean, I, I never felt stronger. It's so much fun, too. It makes yeah. you happy. Yeah, it really, yeah, and they've done studies on rebounding, actually. releases serotonin in the yeah. brain, mm -hmm. which is the old feel-good neurotransmitter. Mm -hmm. And so you, you feel really, really good when you jump on one of those things. Oh, I did it for four hours once. Oh, my God. The first time I did it was for four hours. I couldn't stop. It was that much fun. But the next day, I couldn't move. So Four hours? Yeah. Don't do four hours, everyone. <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> that's typically me oh nothing <laughs> mm. so that's another th another yeah. thing that I recommend mm -hmm. so barefoot walking rebounding yoga we offer yoga here we have mm. we have Chris Kendall here right now who is a, a yo, yoga, yo, yo, yoga specialist there he is right there very very sexy man and a good <laughs> Great teacher. Yoga teacher. <laughs> a bit crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's he's really, really good. Um, and you guys have like the most amazing yoga platform too. Thank you. It's incredible. Thank you. Mm. So people are, you know, um, we either offer it a lot for free mm -hmm. or sometimes just for like five bucks a session yep. for an hour, an hour and a half. Um, it's really rather ridiculously affordable here to do yoga. Mm hmm or you can just do it by yourself. A lot yeah. of people have their own practices and they can just go up, grab a mat and do it themselves. So there's a lot of exercise options mm -hmm. here. We also, eventually we're gonna have a fitness trail, mm -hmm. a circle loop fitness trail in our little jungle down there. Cool. Where we're gonna have stations where people will be doing pull-ups, sit-ups, wow. push-ups, all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of exercise options here. So that's another facet. Mm -hmm. um, internal and external cleanliness of the body. Mm -hmm. External is definitely showering, right? You want every day, you want to make sure that, that the toxins have come off your skin because again, the skin is the biggest organ in your body. It's detoxing every day. So taking a daily shower is definitely important to get some of the dirt and grime and toxins mm -hmm. off your skin. In, internal cleanliness is the colonics that we offer here. Um, they're extremely affordable. They're $30 for as many five-gallon buckets as you can take. Um, I don't know if we video. We did video you on the colonic machine. Well, I wasn't on it. <laughs> you weren't on but it. But we, we were just, talking, we were about, talking it. about it. Yeah. Okay. So internal cleanliness of the body <laughs> is definitely the colonics. Yeah. And the colon is the sewer system of the body. Everything dumps into the colon. It's the primary... It's the primary toxic dump, if you will. Mm -mm. Yep. Um, or mm -hmm. eliminative channel. 
you know, if, if you're eating healthy. Um, some people come here and they haven't had a bowel movement in days. Yes, I mean, wow. I mean I'm not kidding. It's a serious problem. Nuts, isn't it? And so, you know, it's the big argument in the raw food movement to do a colonic or not to do a colonic. That is the question. Um, a lot of people in the natural hygiene movement believe that if you adopt a raw food lifestyle, over time, the fiber in the raw foods and eating all these fancy, all these wonderful foods will clean you out. I agree with them. Yeah, it will. But in my experience with myself, my wife, and many other people, doing a colonic will get it out a whole lot mm. quicker. And it also makes you feel amazing. Usually within 24 hours, you wake up the next day. Exactly. And you and feel incredible. Exactly. And it will alleviate the harsher detox symptoms, mm. like migraine headaches, yeah. like v vomiting, violent vomiting of bile. Um, it can alleviate those detox symptoms because what happens is the colon is hyperpermeal, so the water starts to branch out into the organs and it actually starts to take the toxins out. So a colonic can, can grab those toxins, pull it out your anus before it goes into, you know, horrible rashes coming out your skin or horrible vomiting. It just, it, 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 I say better out than in. I mean, yeah. it, it's better to get it out sooner than a raw food diet without colonics where it's gonna take maybe double, triple, or quadruple the time to mm. get those toxins out. I think we're all trying to get toxins out sooner than later. So it's an option for everybody here. Mm. You know, if people don't want colonics, I, I, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. But it is an option here. It's extremely affordable. Yeah. And um, the machine we have down so there, as use. you video, it's so yeah. easy to use. It's completely self-explanatory and works very, effectively and efficiently mm. um, and so that's that's really it's something that we really stress here that that someone does mm -hmm. for internal cleanliness um, one of the last ones and it's something that just as someone's here on a healing protocol I sit down it, it just it just happens the conversations just kind of flow in or out um, a lot of times people people have emotional issues yeah a lot of times that people have illnesses I always call you have to you always say you have to sort of peel the onion back there's always an emotional root to an illness mm -hmm. and when people are here I always make sure that they do a few things number one to take a look inside a little bit and take a look at what their thoughts are there I always say there's two different kinds of thoughts love and fear mm -hmm. under fear you have angers resentments hatreds um, lack of gratitude, yep. pride, foolish pride. Mm -hmm. um, take a look at your thoughts. If you have some of those, especially anger, yeah. you need to learn to let that go mm -hmm. because it only affects you. For myself, I was angry with my father for many, 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 many years. And it wasn't until I learned to just completely let that go and recognize that that anger was really affecting me. It was affecting no one else. Mm. It, was effect it wasn't affecting him. He didn't care. Yeah. It was just affecting me. So when I learned to let that go and, and substitute that anger for unconditional love and forgiveness and happiness and joy, I started to get well. That's when you start to heal yourself mm. at an emotional and soul level. And these are things that we address here too. And they happen very informally. We don't have any fancy classes with it. I think that's kind of silly because everyone's a little bit different. Yeah. And everyone deals with this thing, this stuff differently. Mm -hmm. Some people internalize it. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, there's always that conversation that you know, hey, you know, take a look at your thoughts. If you've got fear-based type thought, switch it over to love, and and maybe here at Pharma Life we can show you how you can switch it over to love. Yeah. And how you can address issues in your life where you can come to closure and learn to let go of some of these angers and resentments and fears. For one of the, the last patients, guests we've had here, um, she had really low kidney function and she had a lot of problems with her mom. And mm. we sat for many, many hours addressing how she can talk to her mom and how she can learn to come to closure and come to grips with her disagreements with her mom. And before she left here, she had had many, many emails with her mom and she had resolved tons of stuff with her mom. Mm. And she was even on her way to coming here and spending some time with her in Costa Rica. Wow. 
And that kind of stuff makes me feel good because I, I can truly say this, 